uncouth. This drink for its nearly night. My wife's mum's an old succubus. Great. Talk about the contract. Contract? Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creature's attacking lonely passers-by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenford. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps, but we've a plough in war to win. I've got the time to clean gutters. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. Like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our sawbones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'll try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. The feat isn't a desertion. In a hurry. Redania. buy a round for a victim of the beast. Tell me about the monster. How you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. I think you'll tell me everything I need to know. Bottle or no bottle. Yes. I will. I was leaving the inn that night. Might have had a drink or five. I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. Something down an alley called my name. It was dark. I couldn't see what it was, but it wasn't no human. Of that I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know. This thing grabbed the end of my skirt, but I broke free and ran. That it? You didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! A bracelet. Pretty worn. Silver under the gilding. Too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it most likely. You'll choke to death on three pounds of speed. What a down. Hmm. Back of the rock. You the medic? I'd like to see the monster's victims. Oh, yes. I've not had them burned yet. Must get to that. You've done autopsies yet? Intend to? Why would I? Beggars and vagrants. Every last one stinking of cheap wine. Mind if I have a look? In point of fact, I'd prefer you didn't sniff around. Gonna make me come back with a written order? Good grief. Pushy, aren't we? Here, the key to the morgue. Look all you want.
He was drunk. Someone dragged him over the cobblestones. Fang marks on his neck. Vampire sucked his blood. Vampire bites in the strong stench of alcohol, just like the other one. Fondness for jewelry, wounds on the victim's bodies. Everything suggests a catacan, except this vampire likes the blood of drunkards. That's the way to lure it out. We don't serve lushes, shavers, caretakers, or students from Philosopher's Hall. Do I look like a... Um, any of the people from that list? Doesn't hurt to check, just so it's clear how things stand. So what did they do to you, the students from... Rather not talk on it, all right. What's your poison? I want to get drunk off my ass, and it's got to be on cheap wine. Trouble with the lass. Or did your enterprise go under? Neither. Just part of the job. I'll need you to pay in advance. Or can keep it coming. Stay out Once was it made from Vicar Varro. Tight at night, she'd be loose come tomorrow. Her lie in the morning. Another maid from Vicavaro. Cloud with pleasure, drank with sorrow. Till her lie in the morning. Catacan didn't hear it. I'll try another verse. Third maid was not a candy. Gave it up to any man standing. Her lie in the morning. What's the meaning of this? Such rudeness and vulgarity with young people these days. All right, all right. Sheesh. by the river.
Killed the monster that was murdering folk. Turns out a catacan was prowling the city. You speak true. But what on earth's a catacan? A higher vampire. Particularly interesting case, this one. How the hell could a foul beast be interesting? This one liked alcohol. Had a hugely inflated ego, too. What matters is you snuffed it out. Due some praise for that, Witcher. So long. What brings you here? Saw your notice. Can anyone tell me about the monster? I can. The patrol has been lost. Somewhere along the south shore of Lake Windomer. We must know why. What makes this witcher's work? Some brickmakers live south of here. They call their village Byways. Almost empty now. Many have run away. They speak of a monster which kills. Redanians do not patrol there. That would be foolish. And robbers do not attack Imperials. That would be even more foolish. This leaves one option. A monster. You must learn what happened to this patrol. The Empire places great value on the lives of its soldiers. Do this, learn well what happened. The reward will be proper. Deal. I'll see what happened to your patrol, whether there really is a monster in byways. Good, good. Is it true? Most and women bathe for the once of their strength. Anyone there? You can come out. It's safe now. Ah, a witcher. What happened? No guardians came plundering, looking for valuables, as if we was rich. Who killed them? Couldn't have been you. Uh, I don't know. Must have been those beasts you slaughtered. Something stinks, and I don't mean the corpses. It was how it was. Quite well on it. Someone's paid me to dwell. 
And who might that be? That's for me to know. Gonna look around. Best stay out of my way. Handiwork of ghouls. Wasn't a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. Jaws strong enough to crush armor. Force, internal hemorrhaging, scent of blood still strong, ought to follow it. There's nothing there. Tracks lead to this house. What happened here? What do you mean, what happened? You're all still in danger, and only I can help. I'm the only one who can rid you of this threat. What do I know? Listen, you. If you don't tell me everything you know, you could all die. Understand? Is that a burden you can live with? There's tunnels beneath the village. Tunnels? Elven ruins. We scavenge them for trinkets, small treasures. Sell them to Novigrad merchants. No one expected anything bad to come of it. We dug through some rubble. Found a chamber. A beast slept inside. We felled the prop so the ceiling had to collapse. Didn't bury the monster, though. What did the monster look like? It were dark down below. Couldn't see. So how'd it kill the North Guardians? I ran. Couldn't watch it happen. Give me the key to the door. You'd go in. No. Wanna pour wax through its head, tell you your fortune. Now give me the key. So, correct me if I'm wrong. You dug through to the monster's lair, then buried the entrance, but the Nuffgardians opened it again to look for treasure. Beast killed the Black Ones and returned to its lair. You wanted to bury the corpses, but their stench lured ghouls to the village. Now I'm here. Sound about right? Tis as you say. Yes. I'm going down there. If I'm gone long, run. Barring the door, nailing it shut resolves nothing. There are other ways out of the tunnels. Gotta be. can be lifted.
gods. He lives. Found an Ekimara hibernating underground. It was old. Must have been asleep for centuries. An Ekimara? Vampire. Won't trouble you again. You cut off its head. Drive a stake through its heart. Did what I had to. Don't go down into those tunnels anymore. Ekimara aren't known to be loners. You've done well. But others hired you. Said so yourself. They's ought to pay you. Farewell. What brings you here? Hear about the missing patrol. Been to byways. A vampire was terrorizing the village. This is why they did not return. Ekimari are tough, even for a group of soldiers. We will bury them with honors, as heroes. Your award, well deserved. Not you. Great. Except... Not a living soul in sight. Something evil's been here. Necrophage has appeared after. Somebody's well off. Especially the villain. Chopped off with a sharp knife. Well, well. Somebody beat me to it. Fire still burning. This happened recently. Gut sliced open. Probably died defending its owner. First cut severed the aorta. Second hit the femoral artery. He died quickly. Didn't put up a fight.
blade pierced her back between vertebrae, severed her spinal cord. She couldn't move, bled to death. internal organs. Cuts, shallow, with each hidden artery. Bolt, snapped in half. Blood, mixed with something, that smell. Alcohol. Earth ball and a wolf's bane. A potion. This blood didn't come from a peasant. Pitchfork. Dangerous weapon at close quarters. Arm severed above the elbow with one blow. Imperial mustache, plump cheeks, important man. Cause of death, stab wound. Played between the ribs, straight to the heart. Holding something. Silver chain, snapped, ripped it off someone. Shit. Stop! A doll, and a child's footprints. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Calm down. Just want to talk to you. Leave me be! Killer! Murderer! I got it wrong. I'm... You've cow eyes! Same as him! Same as... Same as him! The bad man who killed everyone! Did he have two swords on his back? All yours, maybe? It is. He got a name? Master Freckleface. Hmm, <laughs> pretty. G give him to me, please. Doubt Master Freckleface would be much help on the path, so. Here. Now, think you could tell me what happened here? I need to know. It was haunted. Some spook. Uncle Silvermere said we best fetch a richer. See so one came. Look, looks like you. But there were evil in his eyes. He forced the spook's head set. Uncle Silvermere won't happy about something. They yelled and they cursed. And then he went to the barn. And what? Not sure. I I heard him screaming. Uncle Supermere and the others. Then that that witcher. He ran out of the barn. Blood all over him. And anybody who. All of them, one by one, with his sword like this. My mum and my brother too. <laughs> he let me go. I don't know why. And then he went that way, towards.
towards the circle where we leave gifts for the gods. I hid in the barn. Found this lion in the A. School of the Cat. Thanks. You've been a big help. What'll you do? Got any family around here? Me auntie lives in Oriton. I'll take you to her. But first I gotta see to this bad man. Stay put and keep quiet. Understood? Sit tight, kid. If he went off towards the circle, that'd be the place to start. The stone circle. Need to look around. Palm print. In blood. Had his hand on his wound. Slipped and leaned on his hand to catch his balance. Footprints. Barely visible. Must be him. Fellow Witcher. Well, well. You lost something. Come all that way to give me my medallion? Thanks. Craft Solidarity is alive and well. Huh. <laughs> but our craft's reputation is on its last legs. Folk won't easily forget that massacre. Occupational hazard. Could have happened to any one of us. Well. What are you still doing here? I want to chat first. Then we'll see. Take your seat. I'll stand. Now talk. Honorton, what happened? Come on. You know what happened. Know what they wanted to pay me for the lesson? Go on, guess. Not in the mood for guessing games. I knew you were no fun the minute I saw you. Twelve. Understand, pal? Twelve fucking crowns. Barely covers my potion ingredients. What had you agreed to? That several times over. But when it came time to pay up... You know the routine. Oh, good sir, me young'uns are starving. There's a war on. Gods have mercy. Show some pity. Rings a bell, but that's no reason to kill. I'm not finished. I told them I wouldn't show pity. And if I didn't see gold, they'd wish they had the lesson back. They got these grim looks. Then the Alderman spoke. Calm now, Master Witcher. Me and the lads, we hid some gold in the barn, so the Baron's men wouldn't take it. Come, you'll get your coin right quick. fell for it. Like a fool. One of them chattered on while another jabbed me in the back with a pitchfork. So you decided to massacre the whole village? What would you have done? Gone to the local magistrate to file a complaint? I admit, I lost my temper. Lost it bad. I'm used to shit bounties. To the cheating, to them begging me for help, and then spitting as I pass. But murder me? Just to save a few crowns? I'm supposed to protect horses like that? So I drew steel, and didn't sheath it till the ground was slick with blood. A lot of innocents died in that village. 
Yeah, they did. My fucking bad. Got carried away. Not the first time either, right? Wanna kill me, Wolf? Fine. Draw your blade. But don't force me to confess. Take care now. That's it? Not gonna lecture me? Make me promise to mend my ways? They call me the Butcher of Blaviken, for good reason. I know how it is. Sometimes... Sometimes heads just roll. Wait. I'm no cheap prick like those hayseeds. I owe you something. Here. Directions to my stash. Take what you want. Thanks. No, thank you. Good luck on the path, Wolf. Something else sniffs her out. you promise not to pull my hair? I promise. Then hop on up. Auntie! Auntie Lucy! Millie, what are you doing here, you naughty girl? I'll explain. You run along and play a bit, all right? There was a massacre in Honorton. No survivors. Well, except her. The gods. What happened? A bandit attack? You could say that. You'll look after her? Truth be told, you'd do better to take her with you. Funny. Used to be folk were afraid we'd take their kids. Used to be folk weren't so in need. Got four of me own grandkids. Used to be six. But we buried two last winter. Hard to live off naught but bark soup. Take this. Use it for food, and only food, if I come back and see you drinking. So much. The gods reward ye, Master Witcher, a thousand blessings. Time I was on my way. No? But... but why? Witcher's lot in life. Always on the road, on the path. Will you come back and see me sometime? Hope so. Take care, kid. Millie! Come, child. We'll buy a bit of flour. Your aunt will whip up some pancakes. Sound good to ye?
Time to end this. Foglet, Ghoul, Grave Hag. Wonder why he didn't turn in these trophies. Maybe they tried to cheat him then, too. <laughs> 